Okay, this is video number two. This is getting it primed, hooked up. And running it. Here we go. So, this is just how I have mine hooked up temporarily. Next year, I'm going to make a manifold that goes into everything. But I just got it. It's the middle of the season. So, you got your permeate. And then we got our sap. And then we got our concentrate. I'm doing two passes. So once this is full, I'll unhook for down there, move to over here, and then run the concentrate up into the holding tank. So all you do after it's hooked up, make sure your valve's on down there. And you come here and all the way down is in auto. All the way up is off. You have to slightly pull up on this. And then hold it until it takes over and you'll hear it kick on. There's your let most of the air get out. When you come up here to your high pressure valve and you slowly turn this. Real nice and slow. See your pressure start rising. And you don't want to go above 300. So I usually run it like right about there. Because these membranes will get a little dirtier and it'll build pressure. So you want to check this, you know, every 15 minutes as you're out here running. And just keep an eye and make sure your pressure don't get much above 300. That's it. It's, it's literally that simple. This pressure gauge is for your pre-filter. And if we run out of sap, it, it drops below 20 right here, it'll automatically shut off. Or if it builds above 55 PSI, it'll also shut off but it does not have a shut off for the 300 which I wish they would have put something like that on there because then you could really just walk away and the second it got above 300 it would shut down that's it it's up and running That's all water being removed from the sap. And then this is all a concentrate. So we're doing a little better than 50-50. One more quick little thing I'd like to add is just so you don't ever mess up possibly in the moment when you're trying to get things going, I made sure to make these ends opposite for the permeate and the concentrate so you won't ever get them mixed up. If you're talking to somebody or whatever, I just made sure that it was female to male and then male to female. So it just one less thing you have to kind of think about when you're in a rush. Little stuff like that really helps and adds up. And also, I would highly, highly suggest putting some type of an inline screen or filter to help protect this. This sap is getting pumped in from outside, up through there, through a really nice uh, water home filter, into that tank, out, screen for protection still, up through and in. Alright, so let's check and see how we're doing here, guys. It's kind of fun to do.
video quality is not the best, guys. Just bear with me here. You'll get the gist of it. So on one pass, we're going to 4%. So that's why I'm running two passes and I'll get it up to probably, it, it'll probably be six, six and a half I bet, we'll, we'll check it. There we go, we just let her run now, let her do its job.